don't be no sad. Fuck that vest, nigga, ain't for the head. Y'all rats up cheese, real niggas only get down for the bread. Yeah, let them sleep. Yeah, let them sleep. Yeah, call the plug, cut me some bar for the week. Who's who smoking that trash? We smoking that gas. Big lads in the building. Big swim team, big lads in the building. Listen, if you're not a part of the notification squad, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell and make sure you hit to get all the notifications so you can get all the notifications on this channel and my family channel. Um, this video was inspired by a video that Nick Wavy dropped a couple weeks ago. Shout out to my boy Nick Wavy, dog. <clears throat> so his video, I think it was titled, um, The Reason I Stopped Beating My Meat or How I Stopped Beating My Meat, something like that. And you know, I had to stop. I was looking at that video and I was proud of him because me, myself, I was a habitual meat beater. I'm talking about ice to choke the hell out my chicken. Now I know during this quarantine, it's a lot of y'all gonna come out of quarantine, come out the house looking like Popeye. I don't know if y'all familiar with Popeye, but Popeye's forearms is big as hell. It's a lot of y'all gonna be looking like Popeye after quarantine is over. I understand the reason why you might come out here looking like Popeye, the sailor man. But I want you to understand to not let this consume you because I'm gonna be honest with you beating your meat can be like addictive it can be addictive like being honest it can be addictive and it's not it's not a good thing now I'm gonna tell y'all why I had to stop beating my meat and <clears throat> why I like you know what I'm saying I, I'm done I'm done with that whole getting the lotion I used to go through the phases where I had to have special lotion you know what I'm saying? I had a special spot. I had a special time. I had a special site, special videos, and all that. But anyway, so I'm going to take you back a couple years ago. This was probably like two or three. This was three years ago because this happened before my son was born. One day, me and my wife was trying to do the do, and like my Johnson wouldn't get up. And I did not understand why my Johnson was not getting up. I thought it was because... You know, I was about to be 30. I just have this misconception that when you about to turn 30 or if you in your 30s or whatever, you're going to start have to start using Viagra. So I thought that's what was going on. Like, I was worried that I'm, I was going to have to start using Viagra. So this went on for like three months, bro. It was even me and my wife would try to get intimate and my Johnson just wouldn't get up. Or I would try to watch certain like certain movies. And my Johnson still wouldn't get up. And at this point, I was scared. I was scared. I bought all types of contraptions, bro. I remember I bought a, a penis pump. I don't care. You can laugh at me. I bought a penis pump, bro, because I thought that's that's where it was going to go down. What is, that's what it's going to boil down to. You feel me? And I started using that joint. I'm like, yo, this is stupid. So I ended up throwing that away. And then I ended up getting some pills called horny goat weed. And then the horny goat weed, like, worked a little bit. But... It no matter what was going on, like after after a while, bro, I realized the reason my Johnson wasn't getting up was because of my mentality, like my mind. Believe it or not, bro, it's a lot that goes into your Johnson working. You feel me? Like just how sometimes you might not be attractive to, to a chick. That's it all in your mind. If you don't find her attractive, if you don't find the situation attractive, you might not get up. If you stressed out. Your Johnson might not get up. But my situation, what was going on was, I was watching so much freaking um, X videos. I can't say the P word because YouTube going to demonetize the video. But I was watching so much X videos and I was choking my chicken so much that it affected me mentally to the point where like my wife wasn't even getting me, getting me right, bro. She wasn't even getting me hard. And you got to understand, bro, like when you go in them sites, right, and you preparing to choke your chicken, you you don't you don't choke your chicken off of the first video that you see. You feel me? It usually you usually you start off on page 1 and by the time like you ready to let that nut out, you on page 100. That means you probably done came across 100 or 200 videos of naked people. And you just couldn't find the right one. And mentally, that joint affects you, bro. Like, think about it this way, right? 
anything that you could like any weird ass fantasy that you could have you can go on the internet and you can find it and you can beat your meat off of that any weird fantasy bro you like midgets with big booties you can go on the internet and find a midget with a big butt you want a female with a big butt with one leg you can go on the internet and find that you want to see a chick uh banging a cucumber a carrot you can go on the internet and find that you might be a freak you want to see a chick and a dog you can go on the internet and you can find that so now if you can go on the internet and you can find whatever the hell you want in real life a lot of not gonna turn you on no more like a lot of joints not gonna impress you and that's what happened to me bro and that's why I, was, I made a decision to stop beating my meat like stop going on them sites stop beating my meat now I ain't gonna hold you when the quarantine started off I saw a link and it said that the um the hub I can't say the P word so P herb P hub is free the premium membership is free. I signed up. But, you know, I, I, I was on there like twice. But then that was it. After that, that was it. I was done. So, I'm letting you know right now, bro. Be careful with choking a chicken. Because it can be an addiction that will affect you in a way that will mess you up. Some of y'all might think this video is funny, but... It's real life. Like two months ago, my homeboy called me and he was going through the same problem. And he was like, yo, bro, I don't know what's what the hell going on, bro. Like, basically, he just went to some girl crib that he had met like a week before. And he said they did the do, but his Johnson wasn't, it wasn't there. Like, he was giving her 60%. And he said he didn't understand what was going on not I, I told him I'm like yo I before you met shorty you had just got out of a relationship right did you get any from the time you've been out the relationship he's like hell nah bro I just been beating my meat and I was like yo bro that's what happened son you so used to beating your meat now that like in your mind in the back of your mind subconsciously your brain and your penis is, is pretty much communicating and they saying yo bro you don't need her we good she not doing it for us. So when I told him that, he was like, yo, that makes so much sense, bro. Because I've been I've been choking a chicken almost every day since me and my girl, like, broke up. I'm like, damn, my money effed up. My Johnson don't work. My wife going to leave me. That, that was one of the, the main thoughts in my mind. I'm like, yo, bro, my wife going to leave me, bro. Because, you know... When I was younger, I was watching all my friends and, and you know, I'm going to snitch on myself. They was banging out married women. Older married women, you know what I'm saying? We in like, we like 19, 20, 21. These females is like 30, 32, 40. Married and, and fully committed relationships and they ready to give it up. They, they, they giving it up. They giving the draws up. And in my mind... We used to laugh about it like, yeah, bro, like her old ass husband, he can't, <laughs> he can't get it up. He ain't taking care of business. And then when I was in that situation, I was worried, bro. I was worried. It's like, damn, bro, my wife won't leave me for a 19 year old. We just got married. I can't even get it up. It's over with. But now, you know, everything works. Don't get it twisted. Everything works. It's fine and dandy. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm <laughs> Trust me. Everything works. So, I, I'm, I say all that to say this. Be careful on them sites. Be careful with beating meat. Be careful, you know. I don't know what type of meat beater you are. Or I don't know what type of lotion you're using. But ain't no lotion like the the, the, the natural ro lotion from a woman. Ain't no lotion like the natural woman lotion from a... Ain't no lotion like the natural lotion from a woman. Some of y'all might be too young to understand where I'm coming from, but once you lose your virginity, and you, you know what I'm saying? You experience the cream up. Once you experience the cream up, you're going to come back to this video and just give it a like. 
Hit the video with a like and be like, you know what, Overdose Last, thank you. Thank you for preparing me for the cream up. Because right now I know you meet Ashy. No matter how much lotion you use on it, when you ain't get that natural cream, you meet Ashy. It's a fact. That was a bad time in my life, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> that was a really bad time in my life. But yeah, man, so um, I hope you like the video and you understand why I stopped beating my meat. Why you should hold off and, and just be careful. Because ain't nothing wrong with playing. I ain't gonna lie, ain't nothing wrong with pleasuring yourself, but just be careful. Because. It can be an addiction. Don't be no set. Fuck that best nigga ain't for the head. Y'all rats up cheese. Real niggas only get down for the bread. Yeah. Let him sleep. Yeah. Let him sleep. Yeah. Call it plug. Cutting some bar for the week. Who's who smoking that trash? We smoking that gas.